Welcome to the Oasis. My name is Mike, and today I'm gonna to be talking to you guys about my hands-on impressions with the HTC Vive Pro. So recently I was fortunate enough to attend an event in Brighton called VR in a Bar. Now this event is hosted by a company called Virtual Umbrella. They're uh, a company that basically helps VR developers promote their games, sort of a, a VR PR company essentially. Uh, so they hosted this event which was a really cool event, it was quite intimate and it was hosted at a venue called Seaside Quest. Uh, it's basically right on the front of Brighton Beach next to Brighton Pier. It's a cool little gamer spot so you can go there with your mates, play some ball games, have a bit of cake, a cup of tea and in the evening maybe have a couple of beers as well. So it's a cool little spot, if you're ever down near the Brighton Way I would suggest you go check it out. So I attended this event down in Brighton, and as I got there, I uh, was introduced to the guys from Curoscope. Now, Curoscope are the developers behind the game Operation Apex, and Operation Apex kind of came about by them making a 360 video that kind of went viral, and HTC approached Curoscope and said, let's give you some money to make a fully-fledged game, and they ended up making Operation Apex. Obviously, because they had a great relationship with HTC, they were sent a HTC Vive Pro very early, and they were able to demo this to the public before HTC even do so themselves in Europe. So I was actually one of the first in Europe to try the HTC Vive Pro. So I got to try the HTC Vive Pro playing Curoscope's title, Operation Apex. And just to give you a bit of background about me, if you've never followed my channel before, I'm predominantly an Oculus user. I've used the HTC Vive before, um, and I've never used a PSVR, but I have used a Windows Mixed Reality headset. So most of my comparisons will come from using the Oculus Rift. So here goes, let's dive into what my thoughts are of the headset itself. First up, let's talk about how it looks. So I was pleased when I first got my hands on the actual HTC Vive Pro that it's not quite as uh, a predominant blue as it's shown in the trailer. It's actually much more subtle. It's a very dark matte blue. And in my eyes, it actually is better for that because it makes it look way more premium and uh, it is more aesthetically pleasing in, in my opinion. Because if you look at the Vive Focus, for example, they've gone with this kind of very light blue Mattel kind of color that makes the Vive Focus look a bit cheap uh, in my eyes and make it look a bit like a toy whereas the Vive Pro certainly doesn't sit in that camp it is very sleek and uh, looks like a premium product so I'm pleased with the color because it also dis differentiates it between people that are using the standard Vive as well so say if you're a youtuber like me for example then you know when you're wearing this you're going to be able to stand out from the crowd because you're wearing the Pro over the original Vive. It's worth mentioning that when I got to try out the HTC Vive Pro that this is with the original Vive lighthouses and original Vive controllers. The uh, Lighthouse 2.0 and the HTC Vive Pro controllers aren't available yet to try out. Okay, so let's move on to comfort. And I have to say, it was incredibly comfortable to wear. So I put the headset on my head, as I would do normally, and then obviously with the Rift, it's got those kind of springs in it that kind of spring to your face. Uh, if you've got it adjusted to your own head, you kind of just pop it on like a, a baseball cap almost, and it kind of springs back into your face and kind of fits snug against your face that way. Uh, with the HTC Vive Pro, you kind of place it on, and then there's a dial at the back which you actually turn, and then that kind of brings the display closer to your face and is very sort of tight fitting and comfortable, uh, which is really nice. And I have to say, the, um, the foam at the back is kind of curved, and it kind of cups the back of your head in a really nice way that makes it really comfortable to wear and I would imagine that wearing this even for long sessions would be comfortable enough. What I did find is that you can actually adjust the uh, display uh, to move uh, a little bit back away from your eyes or to bring it closer to your eyes and I would imagine this is to accommodate people that wear glasses um, because I don't really know why you'd want to push it back really any further because obviously you're reducing the uh, field of view of the uh, the display that you're actually going to get if you keep moving it away. Uh, you know, Me personally I quite like using uh, the thin VR covers on my Oculus Rift because it actually is a little bit thinner than the original Oculus Rift foam so it brings the display closer to my eyes increasing my field of view. 
So like I say, the headset, the HTC Vive Pro was very comfortable to wear and uh, props to HTC for making this upgrade because it does make it a lot more comfortable to wear than the original Vive. Because what I found with the original Vive is that it was a bit front heavy. So you would kind of, you know, get that sort of uh, weighted feeling on the front of your face. Whereas it felt with the Vive Pro that it was more evenly distributed around your head and uh, it was much more comfortable in that sense to wear. So next up, let's talk about the sound. So I found that the inbuilt earphones of the HTC Vive Pro were very welcome indeed. And uh, the sound was great. Like I only got to play it in one game, which was of course Operation Apex, but I didn't have any sound issues and the audio sounded crisp and clear and uh, not too sort of bassy or in your face. It was just the right amount. And they would say that they're comparable to what Oculus are providing with the Oculus Rift. I can't say what it compares to with the uh, deluxe uh, audio strap for the original Vive because I never tried it. Um, um, but I was impressed with the audio and I think it's a good upgrade in my opinion uh, because, you know, using your own headphones is great and if you're an audiophile then I get it, you know, you're going to use your own headphones anyway and you can remove these headphones if you really are that way inclined but I would say that the headphones bundled with the HTC Vive Pro are great headphones and will probably do you uh, a good service so uh, yeah, I was happy about that. Some other additional benefits to the HTC Vive Pro is that it's got the volume controls on the actual headphone. So you can turn the headphones up and down just by touching the headphones itself, which I think is a welcome addition. You don't have to go through any menus or anything like that to adjust your volume in game. On the other earphone, it's got a button for muting your microphone, which is also handy as well. Now let's talk about what everyone wants to hear and that is about the resolution. So the screen itself is an upgrade over the HTC Vive screen. The original uh, Vive has a 1200 by 1080 display per eye, whereas the HTC Vive Pro has a 1600 by 1440 uh, display per eye. So it is a bump up in resolution, and that was particularly evident when it comes to reading text. So in Operation Apex, there are menus and there's also text overlays describing what you need to do and the animals you need to scan in the underwater environment. And when I was looking at text with this new HTC Vive Pro, it looked super clear and super crisp. So I have to say, in terms of text, the display is great. In terms of the game itself, it's difficult to say whether it offers that much of a difference. Uh, I would say that the screen door effect is reduced uh, significantly compared to the uh, Rift, but this is the same display that they're using in the Samsung Odyssey as well. So it is a bump up in resolution, so you will get more vibrant text and the screen door effect will be reduced. But in terms of everyday gaming applications, will it make a huge difference? I'm not so sure. Because let, let's be clear, if you had the old Vive, and uh, the HTC Vive Pro side by side and you took one on and, and took the other one on and uh, played a game, you would probably notice the difference, um, you know, doing the kind of Pepsi challenge way. Whereas if you had a bit more of a break, maybe a week between play sessions, I wouldn't be so sure that you'd be able to know which one was which if you were just playing a game alone. It's made for people in the industry. It's made for professionals, right? So if you're uh, using a productivity application, for example, or you're doing a lot of work in VR, you know, where you're reading a lot of text, for example, then of course this is the headset that you're gonna wanna use. But in terms of gaming, is it gonna make a massive difference? I'm not so sure. Obviously it will look a little bit crisper and it will look a little bit clearer and things will be a little bit more vibrant, but it will be just a small step. It's not a big leap into the future that we all obviously want. Other than that, obviously the lenses are very similar to the original HTC Vive. They're the sort of Fresnel lenses. And if you look to your left or to the right, you can actually see the ridges of the lenses themselves and text when they're in that kind of peripheral vision will be blurry. So just like the HTC Vive and the Oculus Rift, you do still have to get the headset into that sweet spot before everything becomes very sharp and clear. So ultimately, would I buy the HTC Vive Pro myself? Well, the answer to that is no. And that's because I've kind of chosen my platform of choice with the Oculus Rift. Now, the HTC Vive Pro isn't a compelling enough reason for me to jump over to another platform. You know, I've invested heavily into the Oculus Rift. I've got additional sensors, cables, uh, all my games that I've purchased are on the Oculus Store. I do also buy Steam games, but you know, predominantly most of my titles are from the Oculus Store. So it would mean like I would be jumping straight to another platform if I was to buy the HTC Vive Pro. 
However, if you're a current Vive user and you're at the enthusiast level and you've got the money to burn, then yes, I would wholeheartedly recommend you go and get the HTC Vive Pro as an upgrade to your current Vive setup. Because from what I understand right now is the HTC Vive Pro headset will be available as a standalone upgrade to your current Vive setup and then later on in the year they'll be releasing it with a bundle with the new uh, Vive uh, Pro controllers and the Lighthouse 2.0 upgraded lighthouses. Obviously, if you're in the industry and you're looking for a headset, again, I would wholeheartedly recommend the Vive Pro if you're sort of doing industrial applications, commercial applications, particularly ones where you're reading a lot of text, or you just generally want the best of the best, then of course the HTC Vive Pro is the way to go. Obviously, there is comparable products out there like the Samsung Odyssey because they have a very similar display, both with the same resolution, and I believe both panels are made by Samsung. But the advantage with the HTC Vive Pro over the Samsung Odyssey is the fact that it's got the Lighthouse tracking technology. As we well know with the Windows Mixed Reality platform with the Samsung Odyssey, your tracking is gonna be inside out, which means that setup and everything else is gonna be much easier, but you're compromising on the tracking quality. You know, with the HTC Vive Pro, your tracking is gonna be flawless, whereas with the Windows Mixed Reality platform, it can be a bit hit and miss at times. So it's not that I think the Vive Pro is a bad product. I actually think the exact opposite. I think it's a fantastic product. Um, and I admire what HTC are doing in that they're reiterating the hardware. But like I said before, it's a step forward rather than a leap forward and not quite compelling enough for me to switch platforms. So right now we don't have any pricing or release date for the HTC Vive Pro, but I'd imagine that information will be coming very soon. So I'd love to know your thoughts on the HTC Vive Pro. Are you gonna go and pick one up yourself? Are you a current Oculus user and you're looking at switching over to the HTC Vive Pro? Let me know in the comments down below because I would love to know your thoughts. Leave me a like if you like this video. Make sure you're subscribed for all my future content. Thanks again for watching guys. And as always, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.